Hello, this is Lifesavers. Merry Christmas. How may I help you? I have only two months to live. I'm so sorry, sir. Everyone at Lifesavers is with you. May I speak to a woman? Hello, Merry Christmas, if it's all right to say that. What's your name? Catherine. I want to ravish you like a wild animal. <laughs> now stop it right this minute. We can't have that sort of thing. Philip's job is solving other people's problems. May I put you on hold while I run to my desk? Uh, you're not calling from a bridge or holding a weapon? No. Good. But unfortunately, he's got problems of his own. I don't know how to say this. My psychiatrist thinks we should break up. I didn't know you were going to a psychiatrist. Well, I'm not actually going to one. I I've been dating one for four months. And now it's Christmas. Can we show a little Christmas spirit around here? Merry Christmas! Somebody's not in the holiday mood, I guess. <laughs> a time when the lonely... If you think your husband is having an affair, he is. ...feel most alone. Static again. Hello, hello. I can't hear you. Try clicking the little button. I'm having a problem hearing you. Look, I'm at the end of my rope, and I want to die. Click it, please. Go ahead. Oh. I'm very lonely tonight. Is there any chance I could stop by and talk? Well, if you were willing to make a small donation, say perhaps five grand. <gasps> I'm kidding. I came right over. Do you have music? I'm not like you, Philip. I'm not one of those people who's only good on the phone. In my line of work, I deal with all kinds of people. <laughs> None of them are what you might call conventional. Hello. Dancing with you makes me feel all fluffy. Philip? <gasps> TriStar Pictures presents... I wish there were someone I cared for who cared for me. Are you a professional ukulele player? Oh, no, I'm a writer. What do you write? T-shirts. Steve Martin. My heart is racing and I'm feeling all nervous and sick. That's the way I felt since the day I met you. I wrote Save the Dolphins. In the new comedy. From the director of Sleepless in Seattle. Catherine was uh, very distressed, so naturally I had to comfort her. Mixed nuts. Hello, Lifesavers. May I help you? May I speak to a woman? You are speaking to a woman. In 1788, King George entered the 28th year of his glorious reign. I wish you the best of health, Father. Wish me, wish me. You wish me death, you plump little cuckoo. <laughs> it was an age of nobility. Mrs. King. Mr. King. A time of harmony. You're a good little woman, Mrs. King, and we have been happy. It was a monarchy destined to endure. Stop! Long live the king! But destiny would have to wait. There's a We are in company. Mind your own business. He was all powerful. If Her Majesty would just lift your leg. I'm the king, you lift my leg. One, two, three, four, one, two, but he wasn't quite all there. Hello there, Georgie boy. I want you to hand over Gibraltar to Spain and see if you can get Menorca in return. I'm a physician, sir. Well, then you should have no difficulty. What would happen if the king were ill? The Royal Highness would have to be declared regent. King in all but name. Is he ill? Well, he's not well. I was told it would be so. In England, always, the prince hates the king. Uh, is that why he's mad? Do you think that you are mad? I hear the words, so I have to speak them. There have been questions in the house, sir. Parliament, you'll do nothing, Mr. Pitt, nothing. I'm not mad. I was given to understand you might be able to cure his majesty. Well, I can cure him, Mr. Pitt. I'm just not sure what from. I make the weather by means of mental powers. The king is incapacitated. The few colonists in America can send him packing. Why can't we? He is to rule in your place. By whose authority? Now is the time, Charles! The Samuel Goldwyn Company and Channel 4 Films present Nigel Hawthorne. He ate what something he ate. Helen Mirren, Ian Holm. Amanda Donahoe, Rupert Graves, and Rupert Everett is the Prince of Wales. Smile and vain. It's what you're paid for. The madness of King George. How is your majesty? Fat lot, you care. God save the king. And uh, so on. Directed by Nicholas Heitner. From a screenplay by Alan Bennett. The madness of King George. <laughs>